Hello and herzlich willkommen. Hello and welcome. My name is Dominikus Feldvasquez. I'm software development engineer in smart charging at Vector. In my presentation, I will talk about the Japanese fast charging standard Chilemo. Specifically, I refer to Chilemo 2.0. Furthermore, I will elaborate on essential innovations to Chilemo 3.0 and its interoperability. I'll begin my presentation with Chademo. The word Chademo comes from charge the move or from the Japanese sentence O Chademo Ikaga de Suka, which means something like how about a cup of tea? This is supposed to give a hint at the charging speed of the standard. Chademo is developed by the Chademo Association. You can see the logo on the right hand side. Chademo was the first fast charging standard but it supports only DC charging. The Chademo communication happens via the CAN bus in a master-slave system where the battery management system of the vehicle is the master and the charging station is a slave. Here you can see a connector of the Chademo standard. The large openings represent the DC pins. The Chademo communication essentially comprises five CAN messages, three for the vehicle side and two CAN messages for the charging station. Both the charging station and the vehicle have got one CAN message each, including the charge parameters and one CAN message for reporting errors, signaling errors during the charging process. Additionally, the vehicle has got a CAN message that expresses the calculated charge time and the state of charge. Each of these CAN messages uh, can comprise of up to eight data bytes. On the next slide here, you can see the connections between the charging station and the vehicle. On the right-hand side, you can see a cross-section of the connector with the pin arrangement. The pins six and five are DC pins. Pins eight and nine are for CAN high and CAN low. The charging sequence signals so the different charge preparation connections, they are pins 2, 10 and 4. Pins 2 and 10 then are then controlled through the switch D2. The charging sequence signal on pin 4 is controlled by the vehicle. Pin 7 is for the proximity detection of the vehicle. Pin 1 is the protective conductor. Now I would like to talk about the sequence of the charge communication between charger and vehicle. After the vehicle has been connected to the charging station, the latter signals its readiness by operating switch D1. Thereupon, the vehicle starts sending CAN messages. The maximum and minimum charging voltage and current is communicated and to the charger. Thereupon, the charger can conduct a battery compatibility check and also starts sending out CAN messages. With the CAN messages of the charger, the maximum um, output voltage and output current are communicated based on these values and the current state of charge of the vehicle. The maximum charging time is calculated. As soon as the preparation on the vehicle side is concluded, a readiness is reported through switch K and the CAN signal vehicle charging enabled to the charger. The charger now checks the cable and the connections. It signals then the charging preparation also through switch D2. The vehicle then, after having concluded the charging preparation, closes the contactors and signals this to the charger via the CAN signal vehicle status. Now the charger begins to increase the output voltage. In parallel, the vehicle then begins with the request for charge current through the CAN signal charging current request. Thereupon, the charger then disables uh, the stop signal, charging stops control, and activates CAN signal charger status. Both of them are entering into the charging loop, and the vehicle can be charged. Additional features of Chademo 2.0 are for once the dynamic control, where the charging station can independently increase or decrease the available output current during charging. Another additional feature 
is bidirectional charging, where not only the charger charges the vehicle, but the vehicle can also feed current back to the charger. Uh, and from there, it can be fed back into the grid. And then again, the charging process from vehicle to vehicle can also be carried out. The different names for that are vehicle to load, vehicle to home, or vehicle to vehicle. If you compare the Japanese standard to demo and the European standard CCS combined charging system, you can see that the charging preparation has the same essential steps, like the exchange of charge parameters, a cable and connection check, the pre-charge, charge preparation, and the request of charging current that is sent from the vehicle in each case. Additionally, the CCS includes various other protocols, like, for example, the SAC protocol, or then also different protocols for authorization, authentication, and the negotiation of payment option. Next, I want to elaborate on how the charging communication of Chademo can be tested. Chademo itself makes available only a test specification for the charge of it just essentially includes various stop and error signals that are fed into the charge loop thereupon a check is made how the charger reacts to these error signals and whether the charging process is ended correctly the test specification, however, can just as well be applied to different times in charging preparation, and also it can be then transmitted to the vehicle side. Errors that can be fed in at uh, parts of the communication are can signals, like charger error, charging system error, but also hardware systems like the operation of the switch D1, which normally then shows the charging readiness of the charger. In the following, I will elaborate on the essential new features for Chademo 3.0 and its interoperability. For Chademo 3.0, the output voltage range was extended to 150 to 1500 volts. The output current range was extended to 0 to 600 amps, and the output power range was extended to 0 to 900 kilowatts. So the value 600 amps and 1500 volts were already possible with Chademo 2.0, but not through the actual communication but only through special extensions. Then again, in Chetemo 2.0, the maximum charge output of 200 to 400 kilowatts was supported. This has now been significantly increased to 900 kilowatt. Through Chetemo 3.0, the actual Chetemo connector was replaced by the new Chaoji connector that you can see here on the right-hand side, which combines the Chinese charging standard GBT and the Japanese standard Chetemo. Additionally, the charging communication was extended by the signals connector latch status for the vehicle and charger ID, insulation check, completion flag, welding check, data flag for the charger. In order to ensure interoperability, an adapter is being used and offered by Chademo 3.0. The adapter connects the Chademo connector with the Shoji inlet. In the adapter, the signals CP, CP2, and CS are then, then guided onto the new signal CC2. Signal CP and CP2 earlier used to be the charging sequence signals of the charging stations through which the switches D1 and D2 were controlled. CS signal is the charging sequence signal of the vehicle, which is now controlled through the switch S2 prime. CP3 is now guided onto CC1, which is the proximity detection of the vehicle. The protective conductor and the two signals for the connections for the CAN transmission and the two DC lines, they uh, remain. In order to ensure interoperability of charging communication, a vehicle has to be able to recognize whether it is connected to a HOG or a demo charging station. If the vehicle then is connected to a Shaoji charging station as shown on the left. This one gets the CC1 and CC2 signals from a Chedemo charging station. However, it receives only the CC1 signal. Based on these signals, the vehicle can decide whether it communicates under Shaoji, where the switch S2 is closed, 
and then the plug connection is confirmed. For in the case of Trademo, the vehicle initially has to wait for receiving the reception of the CC2 signal before then afterwards it can start sending the CAN message that is starting CAN uh, charging communication and then the charging station can make the battery com compatibility check as usual. In line with the Georgi charging communication, the charging station has to begin sending the CAN messages. However, afterwards, both Georgi and Shademo lead to charging preparation and then to the actual charging process. Thank you for your time. I hope I was able to explain to you a little bit about the Charemo charging standard. I'm now looking forward to your questions. Mm -hmm.